Hello everyone, welcome back to Bearware the Terrible for another episode. So hope you had a nice week. Today we have a new deck for you called Sonic Surfer. So in Sonic Surfer, we are featuring these two cards, Barrascuda with the targeted skewer attack, allowing you to do 20 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon for each damage counter on that Pokemon. And of course, Wubat with the unamplified sound wave attack, allowing you to do a super cross uh, 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. So it only allows you to do 30 damage if you have no cards in your hand. If you have any cards in your hand, you don't get to do any damage to any of your opponent's Pokemon. So the good thing is we get to use that in pair with our telescopic sight, hitting 60 damage on benched, uh, benched V or GX Pokemons. And we also get to hit the active Pokemon with 30 damage. If the active Pokemon is a GX or a V, it's still 30 damage because it's, uh, Telescopic Sight only works for Benched Pokemon. Benched Pokemon V or Benched Pokemon GX. So, uh, the tricky thing about this deck is getting Wubat's Unamplified Soundwave attack to work. So the way we make this Sonic attack work is by using a lot of Alistairs, having a lot of item cards, and having Rose Tower to redraw our cards back into our hand to reset our hand once we have used up our unamplified sound wave once we have used it enough times we only have three wubats in this deck we don't want too many we don't want to use unamplified sound wave too many times because it's not quite powerful it's a very silly attack it doesn't do much it only does 30 plus 60 if they are pokemon if they are bench pokemon is v's and gx's so it doesn't really do much the 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 strong point of this attack is that it does uh, a swoop across all over, it spreads 30 damage all over the Pokemon at a very fast, uh, in, a very, uh, in a very quick way. Uh, uh, what I mean is it's a basic Pokemon, it, you don't need to set up, you don't need to attach a lot of energy on it, you, you can play it immediately, you know, on your first turn you get to switch it out, you get to attach an energy, attach your tool card, empty your hand and immediately you get to super cross, you get to deal 30 damage all over the place like on all of their pokemon so unamplified sound wave is very fast if you can do if you can uh follow the rule of having no cards in your hand so the way we do that is by using a lot of alistairs by using guzmahala to empty our hand or we can even have a uh, blues tactics to reset our hand after immediately after using the attack we draw eight cards so that is blues tactics is very powerful as long as we don't have any cards in our hand that is a supporter, any other supporter cards in our hand, or if we get to discard those supporter cards with a Quick Ball or a Viridian Forest, then we can use Blue's Tactics on our turn as well. So, or even with an Aurora Energy. Aurora Energy allows us to discard any card from our hand in order to, in order to attach that energy onto one of our Pokemon. So this is a very, very uh, different deck. It's a very tricky deck to use. And it's a very special deck because, you know, you've never really encountered such a deck before. It's really, really hard to get this attack to work because you need to empty your hand uh, turn after turn. If you want to use it again and again, if you want to use it for the second or third time, you need to empty your hand consecutively. So you need to make sure your hand is emptied easily. So to do that, we have a lot of item cards. And the only support cards we have allows us to discard cards from our hand after the draw right like guzmahala discards two cards alistair discards three or blue tactics discards none but allows you to draw a lot of cards after you attack and we, are, we have one marnie just in case you know at the very first turn we can't do anything uh we can't attack if we go first so if we go first we get to uh we can't use marnie on the first turn obviously but if we go first then um well, Marnie is basically just there just in case, uh, you know, it's always best to have a lot of supporter cards, you know, I don't want to have uh, too many items, so it's always a golden rule to have at least 9 supporter cards or 10 supporter cards in your deck. So for this deck, not many supporter cards, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, but we have a lot of Poke Gears and we have a lot of Pokemon with abilities to get those cards that we need, and we even have Rose Tower, look at that. But I don't like Rose Tower is because they can have uh, Chaotic Swells, they can have Mars Shadows, it gets discarded very easily. And Rose Tower only allows you to draw cards 
um, for once. It only works once, and you have to kind of work in. You have to work in sync. You have to make the stadium card work in sync with Wubat's ability. Sorry, Wubat's attack. So to make sure that it works in sync with the attack, you have to use it on your next turn. You have to place. You have to put in the stadium card. Activate the stadium card on your turn. Attack with an amplified sound wave on your turn. And then on the next turn, then only you use Rose Tower's effect. You can't use Rose Towers before attacking, so that is the bad thing. And by the next turn, normally your opponent will have a stadium card to displace this Rose Tower or even a Chaotic Swell to displace your next Rose Tower. So Rose Tower really is, you know, it's really there just in case, just in case your opponent has no stadium cards in their hand, uh, you know, just in case you get lucky that they don't have any chaotic swells in their deck as well. So we have three Barascudas and Arakudas. We have three Wubats in this deck. We have also Curse La V, two Curse La Vs, and two Sigilifs to allow us to stack more damage counters on our opponent's bench and active Pokemon so that if they switch, uh, we get to use, or if we can, we can even make them switch by, uh, with the Vion's ability, Whirlpool Suction. And then use Barascuda's attack targeted skewer to deal three times the damage on them. So if they have six damage counters with times three, we deal 180 damage on them. Uh, a total, you know, inclusive of their damage counter already placed on it. So it does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each damage counter on it. Meaning if they have six damage counters on it, we do an extra 12 damage counters. Uh, sorry, 120 damage. It's not damage counters, it's 120 damage, so it adds up to 180 damage. So basically, if they have 6, you times 3, it becomes 180, it becomes 18. So it only works if they have no Mews on their bench. So that is the bad thing, if they have a Mew, the only way to get around the Mew is to either bosses order it, but we don't have a bosses order in this deck because I don't want to have a supporter card that does not you know that is just there that doesn't help with drawing marnie is there because if we draw if we reshuffle our cards with the marnie we might possibly get a lot of uh, quick balls or viridian forest or a lot of items which allow us to empty our hand quickly because it's only five cards if we get to draw with marnie you know it's not a lot and we might get lucky we might not even draw any supporter we might only draw one or two supporters with a quick ball or with a Viridian Forest, you know, because once you use Marnie, you can't use another supporter card. So that's the bad thing about Marnie. But we might still be able to empty our hand with the Marnie. With the Boss's Order, you can't empty your hand anymore. You know, if you have Boss's Order, Alistair, Guzmahala in your hand, you're gonna have to either use Alistair or Guzmahala to uh, empty your hand. You can't use a Boss's Order and then expect your hand to be empty and use Unamplified Soundwave on the same turn. So boss's order is basically a very, very, uh, a very, very bad card to be uh, placed, to be added to this deck. That is why I only have Fionn's in this deck. Although boss's order would be very, very useful if you have, uh, if they have a Mew. If they have a Mew on their bench, boss's order would be perfect. But I don't want to add it. So if you want to add it, it's fine. You know, you just add one or two, it's fine. But for me, I prefer not to add it. So for me, I have instead, I have a Curse La V, only two of it, that's the bad thing. So if both is in the price card, then we can't do anything anymore. We have to focus on, uh, we have to focus on Sigilif, because Wubat doesn't do any damage to bench Pokemon, Target Discover is basically disactivated, disabled. So we can only deal damage with our Psychic Assault. So uh, if your Curse La V ends up in your deck and it's not in your discard, is not in your prize card, and it's very easily put into play, then you get to use Hollow Missile, allowing you to place three damage counter on their benched Mew, easily knocking them out after two hits. So if you hit the Mew twice with your Hollow Missile's uh, bypassing attack, which allows you to target that Mew and place three damage counters on it, Mew's ability does not uh, does not protect them from damage counters it only protects them from damage so you can still place damage counters on them so it's always best to place damage counters on Mew first if they have a Mew because Mew if Mew is knocked out then you get to use your other cards targeted skewer you get to use targeted skewer you get to use unimplified sound wave you get to use your 
uh, telescopic sight. So that is the main focus of this deck to attack the bench, to accumulate damage counters on the bench, target the bench, switch the active Pokemon to the bench, then target that uh, previous active Pokemon. So target targeting the bench that is the main uh, the main gist of this deck. So that is why we want to kill the Mew as fast as possible if they have it by using Hollow Missile or Boss's Order if you want to add it to this deck. So that is all for this deck. Uh, the deck list is as shown. We have one Didin GX, two uh, Cursula V, one uh, Mimikyu to block them from healing. But it only blocks banished Pokemon from healing, as you can see. So if they have a Nurse Joy or a Indeedy V, then they still get to heal. Or if they have a Bright Heal, and if they knock this Mimikyu out, then they still get to heal all across their Pokemon. The whole, all across the board, you know, they are all of their Pokemon. And we have one Oricorio GX, we have two uh, Sigilips, three, um, three of each Arakuda, Barascuda, and Wubat, which is our main cards. Wubat and Barascuda is the main cards of Sonic Surfer. So we have two uh, Fionns, three Evolution Intenses, one of each uh, Great Ball and Palpad, four Poke Gears, two, uh, two Pokemon Communication, four Quick Balls, one Scoop of Net, just in case we need to switch, uh, you know, just in case we need to switch one of our benched non V Pokemons into another Pokemon, or if we need to switch out the active Pokemon. We can even use a scoop on that to switch out the active Pokemon. And we have three, uh, sorry, we have two uh, air balloons and three telescopic sight. Air balloons help with switching out Cursula V uh, or your GXs or any Pokemon that you don't want to be on your active. But it really helps with Cursula V because Cursula V has two retreat costs, two energy retreat costs. And we have two Rose Towers, one Viridian Forest, four Alistairs, one Blues Tactics, two. Uh, Two Guzma and Hala, one Marnie, two Aurora Energy, two Horror Energy, one Wash Energy, two Psychic Energy, and three Water Energy. So the energies are a bit weird. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six possible Psychic, uh, sorry, six possible Ghost Energy for Curse La V and Wubat. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six as well. Six possible Water Energy for Barascuda's targeted skewer. So it's 6-6 six, six, with two Aurora energy allowing us to use it as either a psychic slash ghost or a water energy, which is the you know the two main energies of this deck. So that's all for the demo. Um, that's all for the uh, exp explanation of this deck. Uh, let's go for the demo of the gameplay. So this deck is called Sonic Surfer. And I'm probably sure uh, you've probably guessed it by now why it's called that. Sonic because of Wubat's attack unamplified sound wave, which is the sonic boom attack. Sonic boom, uh, what do you call that? Uh, 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 all across sonic boom. And we also have the surfer, which is our Barascuda. I should have switched that uh, Sigilyph for a uh, Arakuda. But oh well. So they have a Charizard deck. A Charizard Salazzle. Okay. I really want to get a Rico Rio. Uh, I hoped, kind of wished we had a Guzma and Hala. It's kind of better to have three Guzma and Hala in this deck because it's very, very useful. Because you get to get tool card and special energy. 
So I think I'm just gonna get Oriko Rio GX because we don't really need. It's better to hit two uh, sonic attacks, two unamplified sound waves. It's better to hit it twice than use a targeted skewer the next turn. So I'm gonna get another Wubat. Probably. And Alistair. Okay, that's really, really good. We're gonna have to discard everything here. Oh, this is painful. This is like very, very painful. <laughs> the Dean. Oh my god. Ah. Alright, I can't do anything. Like, if we had a Guzma and Hala, would have been perfect. But we don't. We can't. We can't save any cards in our hand. If we had a Guzma and Hala, we get to put a Rose Tower. And then next turn, we get to draw. Uh, without a Guzma Hala, with an Alistair, we have no hope of redrawing the cards. I actually should have used. I probably should have used the Aurora Energy. Because Aurora Energy allows you to discard your Horror Energy and then lose tactics uh, with a, what do you call that, with a quick ball to discard my Alistair. That would have been smarter because Blue's tactics imme immediately the next turn you get 8 cards. Now I have to rely on the next card which I have no idea what I'm gonna draw. He's gonna kill us now. But at least we get to Oriko Rio. Can't believe he evolved that fast. Did he have a greens exploration? Nope. Uh, Salazzle with the Rose Reveal ability and a Giant Hearth. Would have been better if they have a Scorched Earth, but Scorched Earth is expanded, so... So they get to draw 3 for 1 energy card. And they get to discard for 2 energy cards. Sorry, they get to discard 1 card and draw 2 energy cards. Ah, oh, they want to knock out... They are gonna target the Oriko Rio. Oh, thank goodness. 150. 150 though. It's not enough. Next turn it would be though. Uh, would have been better to use that one. I'm really scared. <laughs> Guess we are gonna have to sacrifice our Wubat. Wubat is pretty much useless now actually. Alright, we got that one at least. I hope we get to evolve and switch out. And get a Fion. <laughs> that is a lot. We need a Fion evolution card and an air balloon or a scoop of that. So I'm gonna be very optimistic. Oh, that's bad. Oh, we have everything. Perfect. We get that one. We get evolution card. Perfect. Oh, actually... Oh yeah, it's actually perfect. not enough though. Oh, it's not enough. Oh well. It's not enough.
20 more damage. And they have their second Charizard prepared. Hope they don't displace this Rose Tower. Don't displace the Rose Tower. Kill it, I don't care. Just don't displace the Rose Tower. Oh no, what are they gonna do? I think I'm gonna have to woo bet the next turn. Hopefully we get an Alistair. I did I discarded my Alistair. Uh, not sure if that was wise. I actually discarded my Alistair with a quick ball for that Fion. She didn't manage to knock out the bloody Charizard. Mm. Alistair. Hopefully a psychic energy? Yes. Okay. One, two, three. Alright. That is just perfect. Uh, we don't need this because they have no Vs. They might have a Dedean. Sorry, they might. Oh, yeah, they might have a Dedean GX. It works for GX as well. So they might have a Dedean GX and a Crobat V, but. Uh, we can't attach it to any Barascuda or Wubats at the moment, so it's basically useless. Uh, which one am I gonna do? Ba -ba 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 that one. Okay, at least we get to Wubat again. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You get to see an amplified sound wave being used twice. Usually I only get to use it once. If they don't have a V, I usually use it once. If they have a V, I would usually try to use it as many times as I can. Twice or thrice. Normally just twice, you know. Twice is like the most... The, the most number of times that I can manage to use this attack. They have so many cards in their hand. Nine cards. I don't think they've ever used the Rose Tower. <laughs> I think they only have one uh, giant. Oh, two giant heart. Probably discarded it with a Battle Sense. They might have more in their prize card or in their deck or even right now at hand. Hopefully not because I love. My rosy. A welder. More cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They have two fire. Uh, they have two of their main Pokemon's charged already, fully charged. So that is worrisome. That's very, very worrisome. I'm just gonna place those two.
150. Yeah, one more Leon is all they need. Oof. Let's see if we can hit one more. So if they have a Charizard, our Curse Lavi is dead, our Sigilif is dead, anything is dead. So I'm just gonna try and hit it with another Wubat because I don't think I have a high chance of winning anymore. They're a bit crazy. I mean, Charizard decks are too powerful. I don't know which to take here. I don't, I don't think Guzma is useful. Because Guzma, Hala... Uh, we don't need any more, we might need a Rose Tower, but we don't need any, we don't need Telescopic Sight, we don't need Special Energies, we might need Special Energy actually. But we're down to 14 cards, meaning Alistair would be more useful than Guzmahala. Plus, we probably won't be using a, uh, a fourth Wubat, a fourth unamplified Sunwave. So, there we go, they're gonna discard another Leon for 200 damage. I'm quite surprised they haven't already done that. Ursula V's ability useless now, but its hollow missile might actually knock out quite a lot of things. Well, actually no, it's not that it needs two. I need two hollow missiles to knock out two extras. 60 is not gonna, gonna kill this one though. 120 might, but Leon, I'm really really scared of that Leon. One more Leon and Ursula V is dead. Uh, I'm just going to do that because Charizard decks are crazy insane, very very scary and this deck is just not built for Charizard, <laughs> it's not built against Charizards. I mean target a skewer is a water type but it deals no weakness, you can't deal weakness to bench Pokemon, oh my goodness. Seriously? I'm gonna hit Wubat again. <laughs> I really don't know what to do. Uh, if I use Cursula... Oh, if I use Wubat, I can actually knock two Slazzles out the next turn, but it will still be pretty worthless though. Don't know what to do. They might not have Charizards. I think they just rotted two Charizards. Uh, wait, that's 60. Oh. 
I can't devolve them. I somehow thought I could devolve them for some reason. <laughs> um, what can I do? Theon only allows you to push out the active Pokemon. So, um, 30, 30 all round. I think I'm just gonna do that. Probably gonna get an Alistair somehow. So. <laughs> Let's just draw three. Okay. That's good, that's good. Um, let's get this ready. 60 is not enough. So. Oof. Fion. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, yeah. Ah, I should have attached the Cursula. Cursula can knock that out, but Cursula can't knock Charizard out though. Uh, Sigilyph can knock out the Charizard, but he can't do anything else. So that's it guys. At least we get to Heartbreak. At least we get to knock out at least we get to draw four price cards, so um I'm just gonna draw another three. Let's get a target skewer. Just for fun. Uh, and draw three with Alistair? No. Oh, we only drew three price cards. My bad. So, how many Leons do they have? One Leon. 150. 150 is already enough. Uh, I should have used Cursula. I mean, they only have one Leon? That is weird. That is just weird. One Leon. So many cards in their hand and in their deck. I mean, if that, if that prize card is a Leon, then they only have two. Let's see how many they have at the end, you know? They might discard some more. Nope, only one Leon. And we don't even get to knock out that Charizard. So there you go, this deck is uh, very bad against Charizard. Let's go for one more game. But we did hit three times the unamplified sound wave attack, so that's a good uh, that's the upside of that game uh, So it was a huge sonic boom that we did back there But it's not really necessary because it's better to just hit twice the Unamplified sound wave attack because if they have V's on their bench two hits is already a hundred and twenty if you have uh, if you have a telescopic sight and if you have a targeted skewer, it's uh, you can deal already 360, a total of 360 damage after attacking with targeted skewer, already knocking out a VMAX or a tag team for three price cards. Sometimes you can uh, you can even knock it out with just one unamplified sound wave and one targeted skewer. If they don't have a Mew, if they have a V, if they have a GX, then you know, 
uh, that would be the lucky case. We have a fire deck again, I think. We might be up against another Charizard. Ductile. That's cool. Haven't seen that in ages. Gorman dies is really not useful because uh, you draw a card until you have seven in your hand and your turn ends. It's kind of like Zushin. It's very iffy because your opponent could use Marnie or uh, Reset Stamp on you. You can even have a Wicked Ruler, the new Obstagoon uh, from Champion's Path with the Wicked Ruler ability causing your opponent, uh, making you discard cards from your hand until you have four cards in your hand. So it's not really useful against those decks against those cards. <laughs> Let me see if I get a Guzma Hala. Nope. So we can actually already hit. Oh, we don't have energy. That's odd. Yeah, that's that's a bummer. No energy in the first turn. I should probably add another Guzma Hala in this deck. This Guzma and Hala actually does more than Alistair. Alistair draw three cards. Guzma and Hala allows you to draw the right cards. As long as you have enough set up Pokemons already set up on your bench, then Guzma and Hala actually does more than Alistair. But you might actually need Alistair for those quick balls and Pokemon communications and energy well Guzman and Hala actually gets you the energy so Alistair is only good for the basic setups really a Colossal VMAX and a Aerodactyl Aerodactyl GX It's weird that they have that card and they are not using it because I don't see any unidentified fossils. Okay, we have that at least. I'm gonna Dedean here. Please have a Dedean. Oh, thank goodness bad thing about this deck is it's very very tight I mean I had a lot of Alistairs back then but they Marnied us I actually could have drawn uh, Poke Gear, so actually this deck is not that bad in terms of supporter cards but it's just scary after you use that unimplified sound wave because you're and you're empty-handed and you might not have a rose tower to use uh, by that time because your opponent could discard it and you know a lot could happen uh, 
What am I gonna do? I'm gonna try and hit... Yeah, I'm gonna try and hit... Uh... Oh no, we can only get one. Darn it. That's too bad. Oh well. I'm gonna hit it anyways, because I can. So, probably gonna get something with that. Fion. Okay. Right, that's three. One. Kill the Poké Doll at least. You're probably gonna use that already. Somehow. Oh, that's bad. If we are empty handed, we might be able to use this again. Oh no, they're gonna kill us now. 40 plus 90 if they have a Oranguru energy or if they have energy on the top of their deck. Probably gonna Oranguru and energy there. Uh, this deck is crazy by the way. Like it's just insane. And they have a buff padding as well. At least they got hit a little. Uh, I need three more damage counters on this one. To deal enough for my targeted skill were hit if they don't have a buff padding or stone energy which is just annoying Hundred and forty. So if they attach an energy, then they get hit with three damage counters, and then I get to target a skill with them for the kill. If they don't have a buff padding, and if they don't have a stone energy, that is. Um, that's the reason I leave Cursula, because of the ability Gnawing Aura. But if uh, if they bosses order my Baroscuda, then I'm dead. Oh, thank goodness, no buff padding. No buff padding, yes! Aha! This just made my day. Okay, here comes the magic. Here comes the magic. I'm gonna draw my bar scooter before using the ability. And Rose Tower that thing. Uh no. See, Marty is useful after all, because it screws their hand. So I'm gonna get another one. I'm gonna leave my Guzma and Hala. I'm gonna get another water. Oh no. That's our last one. At least we have a Sigilif. So that's the only thing we can do now. A Sigilif. 
Oh, we can actually do that. Okay, targeted skewer. And we killed a VMAX with a targeted skewer! Bullseye! Three price cards. We actually drew three as well. But they are, uh, they, they are basically disabled now. No energy cards, no attacking Pokemon. They can't do anything now. So we can attack with our Sigilyph the next turn, or we can use Targeted Skewer to kill the Theon or this Snorlax. It can't kill the Oranguru, it can't kill that Snorlax. It can only kill the either of one of those, unless they heal. Yep, I'm gonna need to Fion that one, if I'm killing it. Body Slam. Probably gonna switch it out for something. I can't believe they only have one colossal by now. They should, you know, they should have more than one, really. So I'm gonna kill that Snorlax. Actually, Fion would be better. Might be better to kill the Fion. I'm actually gonna kill the Oranguru. Oh! Shit! Telescopic Sight doesn't work for non-Vs. Aha! It works for... It doesn't work for Oranguru. My bad. Uh, that was just sad. I could have killed one and I didn't. Just wasted my skewer. Is he gonna call a colossal V now? Mm, that's bad. This is bad. This is so bad. Okay, it's okay. We have that one. He might actually be able to kill us. Nope, not yet. So we can deal 40 damage on that thing at least. Uh, skewer, 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 not enough. We actually need to skewer three times. If we're gonna win. There we go, buff padding and stone energy. We're not gonna kill this one. We're gonna kill three normal non-V Pokemons with Targeted Skewer, Sigilyph, and that one. Hopefully. So 30 is gonna kill that, so I'm probably gonna Targeted Skewer this one. And let those two die by Wubat and Sigilyph. Yep. Let's hope the plan works. Fingers crossed. I'm really hoping this plan works. So... I'm gonna... I think I'm just gonna keep my cards.
Yep. Okay, let's just do that. Okay, very, very good. Not so good. Okay, we're gonna woo bet the next turn and then Sigilif. Oh no, they have another one. Ah. Uh. Let's see if we can manage to do it. So 30 is gonna kill that, Skewer is gonna kill that one. Uh, if we can evolve it in time. We have two Skewers, that's good. Let's just waste our Fion. There is no difference actually, <laughs> I just put it back into the deck, but I, at least I put it at the bottom of the deck, so that I won't draw it again the next turn. So at least there's that. So I'm gonna have to discard both of this card so that I get to empty my hand, and get that, and I've already attached my horror energy. So. All we need to do is to give the illusion that we are actually targeting the uh, Pokemon Vs, but we are really we are targeting the Oranguru, and then targeted skewer one of the Snorlaxes, because that would be enough to no to get the last prize card. So we don't need to knock out any of the V Maxes because it's already enough. Unless they bosses order this one, then we are done for. Because we don't have a bosses order and Sigilif doesn't... Oh, Sigilif could actually knock this out. So if they if they put out a Colossal VMAX and knock our Wubat with their Colossal VMAX, then we can Fion for Sigilif to kill any of the three bench Pokemons. So Sigilif could actually do the knockout. If Sigilif doesn't knock them out, we can Rose Tower, uh, Orico Rio, and Alistair to get our Barrascuda and Water Energy for the targeted skewer for the Snorlax kill. Unless they scoop it up. Oh dear! They knocked out our Divine Jax. Uh, <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. So there you go, we lost two games with the Sonic Surfer. Uh, it's not really that good a deck as you can see, but it's kind of a good way of using uh, Wubat. So we used Wubat and we used it in pair with our Targeted Skewer as you saw earlier. And we knocked out a VMAX at least. We, knocked, we got quite a lot of prize cards against the Charizard. And we knocked out VMAXs and we almost win a game. <laughs> Down to one prize card guys, but they bosses ordered our uh, Didin GX, we couldn't do anything. And they used their one energy cost attack from Colossal VMAX, <laughs> supported by Oranguru's ability to do the final kill. So we couldn't do anything back there. Uh, because we had our Didin on our bench. So that's the bad thing about Didin's and Oricarios and Zashin is that they get to get two prize cards for the kill. So that's all for this deck. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to join us more for more future cool decks, if you want to test out more of our uh, unique decks, then join us for future videos and keep uh, watching, uh, keep tuning into our channel. 
So uh, see you on the next video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel if you, if you want to see more. And uh, check the description for any promo codes, any decklist updates. And we'll see you on the next episode. Bye now!